this, so I'll be looking at you. I'm just, I'm just going to set this. Uh, well, it's been a while since we got a chance to talk to you, really, because you had to kind of sit out last year and everything. But um, remember, you had Pearl Cone, obviously, and then uh, you went away from the area for a little bit and came back. It's got to be pretty exciting for you to finally get, be getting close to being able to get back and play a real game here in your hometown. Man, it's a good feeling. Camp starting out right. Yeah. Everything going smooth as far as the team base. I'm trying to get this thing rolled. What's it been like for you to kind of wait this long? You know, because you know when you make a decision to transfer like that, you know you're taking kind of a step back to take a, a step forward in a way. What's it? Has it been a long? Has it felt as long as it's been? I mean, transferring, I knew what was coming with it. So last year, I just took that year to kind of like fix my craft. Um, help the scout team. I mean, help the starting deep being on scout team. And then transfer this year. I uh, help the team for bring in my individual, my individual part that contribute to the team. I'm just trying to get the team better. Everybody get better. How's it, how are you feeling? We're just, I guess, four days into camp here. And uh, how are you feeling about getting back out there? And uh, I know you've been out on the field the last year, but it's a little bit different this year, isn't it? I mean, camp is camp. So it's me and practice. But as far as, like, the meeting room, I'm focused. On the field, I'm focused. So I don't let, I don't let coach know I'm tired. I'm out here working. What are your goals this year? Uh, you know, you've had a lot, a lot of time to think about this, to think about what you'd like to see happen for you and for the team this season what what are your goals what have you set in your mind i feel like my goals won't be accomplished unless the team goes to accomplish first so as far as starting as a winning season um, doing little things right to get better but as far as like individual I'm trying to work on catching get, get my catching better so becoming more of a receiving back you know that i can run the ball also so just trying to balance out my game how close were you to picking Vanderbilt the first time out of high school? They must have been in the mix there. Nah, I knew. Really? I knew I wanted to get away from home. Yeah. So just getting away from home, going to Illinois, gave me that kind of like freedom as a college student. I was like, I done had enough freedom. I done, <laughs> I done experienced being away from home. I'm ready to come back home because I know what I got to do. I got to stay away from certain crowds. Okay. Well, that's a pretty big 180 to say, hey, I want to leave, and then you know, pretty quickly say there's a draw. What was the draw that kind of brought you back to Nashville? I mean, uh, I noticed the, uh, what, was the six and six season. Yeah. I knew I noticed that. So, uh, like me, I like to go, go somewhere that's building, so I, I can help it build. And then I knew the linemen. They was a big running team, so I felt like it was perfect for me. Do you feel comfortable? I know they're different fields and they're different, you know, playing for Pearl Cone's one thing, playing for Vanderbilt's another, but do you feel like being back in Nashville, do you feel, does it make you feel more comfortable to be the idea of playing games here in your hometown? Is there anything, is there anything to that or? I mean, the support system going to be there. Um, got a lot of fans um, who, who say they support Vandy now because I'm on the team, but it's like, that's bringing more exposure to the team as a whole. So it's just kind of like, he yeah, has pros. Yeah. Um, All right. Appreciate it. Hey, good to see you back. Have you asked, yeah. I mean, just what, what is it? What does it mean to you to, to just be back back in your hometown? I mean, it means a lot. Mm, like I said, got a big support system, so family can come to every game. So you don't really got to hear like, "Sorry, I couldn't make it to the game." So it's really like like no excuse for not being able to make a game because <laughs> I'm like down the street. So it's just as big and like I said, bring more exposure to the team as a well. whole. You expecting to see a lot of Pearl Cone fans? People? I'm expecting to see a lot of Pearl Cone fans, a lot of people I grew up with, just a lot of people that's from there. Awesome. Right, so what player in the NFL do you think you most resemble in style of play? I mean, my favorite running back is LaDainian Thomas. And Thomas. So I'll say I got like, like, I feel like every back has his own personality on the field. I'll say like I can resemble like a late a Le'Veon Bell when the time is right, and then I can also hit the hole like like Zeke could do or something. Yeah. Like. It's just like I feel like it's, it depends on the time and what kind of back I could be. Okay. Well, thanks so much and good luck.